Okay, today is the day and I'm really excited. I'm a little bit scared, mostly excited. This video is definitely a little bit out of the norm for me, but I wanted to vlog this experience just in case I have a mental breakdown. I mean, that could be entertaining, who knows? But today I am going to donate my hair and this is something I've wanted to do for such a long time. If you saw the video I made kind of recently on my hair care routine, you will know that it does take like, it's kind of high maintenance to grow your hair. And <laughs> I'm just at the point where I can't, it's too long. I don't want to cut just this much to kind of take away the worst of it. I want to donate my hair. It's going to happen today. <laughs> I'm not scared to have short hair. I'm just scared that I'm gonna go get to the hair salon and then chicken out at the last second when it comes there with the scissors and I'm just gonna back out. The second fear is that I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and not like it. So in conclusion, I guess I am scared. <laughs> that's, that's great news for me. I'm really glad I cleared that up. I haven't even decided on what length I am going to be stuck with. I'm just gonna measure out my hair. I'll do that on camera so we can all see and I will have evidence for the future that my hair was this long. I don't actually know how long it is right now, but as you can see, it's kind of a struggle to brush it because I am struggling to reach the end. I'm a little bit nervous. Let's go measure. All right, I have the measuring tape. You can see it's a little bit worn on the ends, but let's have a look from, that should be my parting approximately. It's kind of hard to do by yourself. Okay, if I do like this, it should go down with the hair. That is actually a lot more than half my body length, which should explain why it's quite a lot of effort. I have like 10 minutes before I have to go and instead of fully drying my hair, I'm gonna take a very dramatic thumbnail <laughs> for this video. You know, we need clicks, okay? <laughs> so if you clicked on this video, thank you. Uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna actually cut my hair. These are fabric scissors, so you know, there are limits. I can't actually see into the viewfinder without my glasses, so I have no idea if that turned out good or not. But I have to go. Just a quick outfit to check before heading out the door. Very tonal today. I have my mosh bag and just long layers. I'm really wearing these linen trousers as much as I can before it gets too cool. I also have my sort of sunglasses <laughs> but I need my actual glasses to drive with. So yes. I'm gonna try to film in there. I always just feel like a little bit weird asking people if I can film them, do you know what I mean? But yeah, we're gonna try. Da er vi klare, ja. All right, so it's kind of a shame to show you this in the car and like horrible lighting and everything. Camilla, my wonderful hairdresser, spent an hour and a half on me and um, I have some errands to run so I really have to, I have to go otherwise I will be late. So I will show you properly later but I'm really really excited and I haven't had a freak out yet. Okay, as you can see, my hair is a little bit shorter. So let's do the final, final reveal. Yesterday ended up being really, really, really hectic after my appointment. So today is actually the next day and I can very happily report that I did not wake up in the middle of the night sweating and regretting my decision. It's definitely very different. I do quite enjoy the very big change. I don't think I would have dared to go this short if it wasn't for the fact that I wanted to donate my hair. So it was a very good incentive to kind of really take the plunge and do it. Yeah, this is going to be a fun new challenge. It does feel really strange to not have my hair. Actually, I do have my hair. So because I ended up spending an hour and a half at the hair salon, even though the organization is like a two minute walk 
from the hair salon. I did not have time and it was way too late. So I did not actually deliver the hair yesterday. I'm going to go into town and do it, but I have my hair here and this feels so incredibly strange. This used to be attached to me and now it's here. It's really, really weird. I have four of these. I really wanted to measure it. Let's have a look at how much hair this actually is because I'm kind of curious. I mean, it's not gonna be like millimeter correct here. My hairdresser also cut off like this much at the end just to get rid of like the damaged split ends. So there you can see, what is that? 63, 64 centimeters, which I have looked up and that is actually over two feet. Really, really, really strange, but I'm feeling so good about having done this. So I didn't have to go this short. I just really wanted to try to donate as much as I could. But I can really recommend that if you're looking into getting a little bit of like a larger chop, look into the organizations that are in your area and see how much they need because not all of them need a ton. For me, I just figure that if I cut it here, I'm not gonna have like the same incentive to cut it even shorter as I do when I want to donate my hair. Hopefully that makes sense. Look into it, you might be able to really help someone out, even if you think that you don't have enough hair. Definitely a very positive experience so far. Let's see how I feel once I wash my hair and I have to ta start trying to style it myself. We'll see, that might be a completely different story. It's so short. In the back, in the back, I have hair that is like, do you see that? My hair is so short. <laughs> this, I think, has been my regular length that I get at the hairdressers before. And that's gonna take me, what, a year or two, maybe, to get back to. So, I don't know, we'll see. Stay tuned to see if this is going to be a disaster or not. We'll see. I definitely don't regret it. I'm really happy I did it. It's been a really, really positive experience overall. I'm gonna go into town. I'm gonna deliver the hair, the regularly scheduled program. We will get back to that just with a new look. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!